Hey guys, OMAC446 Productions here, and in today's video we will be continuing my first what if on the channel, that being, what if Kakarot was raised by Demon King Piccolo part 5. But before we get into that, I would like to give a massive shout out to, to Weeb King for making my new intro. It looks great and it's far better than the one I made myself. <laughs> and also, holy shit guys, this time last week we won 13 subscribers, and right now we are at 141, which is insane. To all my new viewers, I hope you all st stick around because my videos are only going to be getting better from now on, I promise you. If you haven't seen the previous part to this what if yet, ch check out the playlist on my channel, watch them and then come back to this video. As I won't be doing a recap because I think it's just pointless and you should just go watch the other videos. <laughs> now, without any further delay, let's get right into part 5. So when Kakarot lands on planet Namek, he would get out of the pod, take a look at the people and would begin to shake in rage. When he sees the Namekians, all he sees in his mind is Piccolo. It reminds him of all the times Piccolo would mock him and beat him as a child, and in his mind, and in his mind, all Namekians are Piccolo and evil. Kakarot would begin to scream as loud as he could, alerting everyone on the planet, and began to slaughter the Namekians one by one. After a while, Kakarot would be confronted by Nail, Grand Elder Guru's pr protector. Who are you and why the hell are you here? Yells Nail. My name is Kakarot. He would reply. I'm looking for my brother Raditz, Nappa, and Prince Vegeta. I don't give a damn who you're looking for. I want to know why you just wiped out a quarter of, my, of our entire race. Now answer me. They are Piccolo and must be destroyed. Actually, you kind of look like him. You must die, Kakrot would say before launching a gigantic mouth beam in Neo's direction, which Neo barely avoids. Ugh, I don't think I can beat this guy, says Neo to himself before being met by, by a huge uppercut to the gut by Kakarot. Fight me, Piccolo, yells Kakarot. I am not this Piccolo person you're talking about. My name is Nail. You're clearly deranged. Let me take you to Grand Elder Guru so we can help you. Stop lying to me, Piccolo. Now fight me, said Kakarot before landing a knee to the gut on the already, already heavily injured Nail. But please stop. We mean you no harm, and we are not this Piccolo person. We are a peaceful race called the Mechians, so either leave our planet or come with me so we can help you. Okay, I will go with you, only if you let me use your Dragon Balls. How do you know about the Dragon Balls? We used to have them back on Earth, but they aren't working anymore. Uh, sure, if you come with me in peace, you can use the Dragon Balls, but just wait here, I'll bring the Dragon Balls with me when I return. Ugh, fine, Kakrot scoffs. You have ten minutes. Be late and I'll blow up your stupid, pathetic planet. Nail then flew towards Grand Elder Guru's house. Nail, did you take care of the terrorist? No, my lord. But I have a way to do so. But it requires in us using the fusion technique. Would you be willing to cooperate? Are you certain that there is no other option? Remember that the Dragon Balls will no longer be usable afterwards. I have thoroughly thought this through over on my way here, and if we do merge, my lord, we could without a doubt take down this monster," said Neil. <laughs> all right then. My death is near anyways. I might as well die saving this plant I have protected all my life. Neil, place your hand on my chest so that I may pass my energy on to you. Neil flew up to Guru. Guru charged up his energy, and within seconds, Guru had disappeared. The immense strength and knowledge flooded inside of Nail. This power was so immense that Nail's physical appearance changed. This new Nail looked merciless. There was no emotion in his face. His his new power level, 200,000. Tell me in the comments below what you think of this power level and if I've overpowered him or underpowered him. Anyways, Nail would instantly teleport in front of Kakra, steering him down. Either get off my planet or say hello to hell for me, Neil yelled at Kakarot. You think you intimidate me, don't you? <laughs> don't make me laugh, Piccolo. I don't think you know this, but my race can transform into a, an Uzuru. <laughs> I don't think you know this, but when I got this power, I also gained hundreds of thousands of years of, of passed down knowledge. Therefore, I know all of your races, that, that being Saiyans, hidden skills, transformations, everything. In fact, 
I most likely know far more than you do about your race. Ugh. Okay then, if you're so smart, who are my parents and brother? Your parents are called Bardock and Guinea, and were both killed along with your entire race when Frieza blew up your planet. And your brother is called Raditz. Your race has seven survival survivors, including yourself. S seven? I thought it was only four. Who are the other three? Tarbul, the younger brother of Prince Vegeta IV, Colonel Paragus, and his aunt his son Broly. Anything else you wish to know, Saiyan, or can I leave and begin my role of Namek's new guardian thanks to you? What? What about our deal? You said if I let you go away or something, or, or whatever you did, you would bring me the Dragon Balls. Oh my, you Saiyans truly are a gullible race. <laughs> Goodbye, Kakarot. Said Nail Bim before punching a hole through Kakarot's chest, killing him. Yeah, in, in this timeline Kakarot dies. Weird plot twist, I know, but I want to make m my what-ifs as unique and different as possible. I think this is a far more enjoyable experience for the viewer to be surprised instead of expecting things and knowing what will happen. Tell me in the comments below what you think of this. Anyways, back to the story. Neil would proceed to head over to Kakarot's pod and blow it up. After this, Neil would go into his new home and meditate until a new threat approaches Namek. Let's head over to, to Arlia and see what the Saiyans are, are up to, and what they will think when they find out Kakarot is dead. Raditz's pod would approach Arlia, and Vegeta and Nappa Skydus would begin to rise rapidly until they would both explode. N Nappa, is that power really Raditz? How did that low-class bastard get so powerful? I... I don't know, sire. I suggest you investigate, don't you agree? Go. Nappa then flies over towards the pod, and when he arrives, the pod opens up. Greetings, Nappa. How are you and Vegeta doing? We're g good Where is your brother Kakarot? I thought he would be here by now. Oh, god damn it. I forgot to tell him how to key in the coordinates. He's probably on some other random planet. Nappa, use your extra scouter to see where your pod is. Don't order me around, low cla- Are you sure you want to say that, Baldy? N no sorry. I'll grab my spear scouter right now. That's what I thought, said Raditz. Nappa and Raditz go back to where Vegeta is, and they get the spear scouter. Nappa turns on the scouter and tries to track his pod, but it seems as if it's been destroyed. Raditz, it seems as if the pod's been destroyed. Well, what's the last location of, of the pod, you imbecile? Uh, a planet called Namek. Never heard of it before. I'll go there myself, said Raditz. You at least would just hold me back. <laughs> Vegeta is clearly very angry to be insulted by someone who, who was once so below him in power, but is now a god in, compared in, in power to him. Raditz, yells Vegeta. I'll go with you. You might need some backup. Ugh, fine. Just don't give me enough any of that I'm an elite bullshit. We both know in terms of power I'm the elite here. The prince would say nothing and the saints get into the pods and they're off, leaving Nappa alone on Arlia. But Nappa isn't as dumb as you may think, Nappa has a plan. Nappa began, begins to, to contact the Frieza force and he's put through to, to, to Dodoria. I request to speak with Lord Frieza, Nappa says. I have hidden info that he would probably like to know. Putting you through now, says Dodoria. He's very busy at the moment, so it's better be good, Saiyan. Trust me, he wants to know about this. What is Nappa going to tell Frieza? How will Raditz react to his brother's death? Find out in part 6.